Dude talking about AIDS. One of the main problems with the AIDS problem, especially in the black neighborhood, is that I find that the black people in general do not take it quite seriously. Like, it won't happen to them. And, and I think that's a, a, a big, great concern in the community. What do you think about AIDS? It's a deadly disease. Everybody could get AIDS, actually, because it's sexually transmitted. As long as you're sexually active, you will get AIDS if you're not careful. Sex sex is good. Um, it's what's the best thing going on right now. I'm not dying for nobody until I'm 65 and I'm ready to go. Six foot six, but other than that, I'm not dying for nobody. I'd rather do without. Bottom line. Well, I've never met anybody actually with AIDS. I've only seen it on the TV or heard about it in the newspaper. I've never really met anybody who has said, you know, although people are not going to come to me and say, hey, I have AIDS, you know, but I never really met anybody with AIDS. So I think it's, how would I treat them? <laughs> treat them, I'm sorry. Well, I know it can't, if I touch a person, I can't get it. Or if I even kiss somebody, I can't get it either, but I'll still be care a little bit careful around, I don't know, probably a little bit careful around them. I know I contracted it through sex. I haven't had any blood transfusions and I don't use uh, injectable drugs. So when, I don't know. Um, from the time I moved to Toronto, I thought that I was infected because I get cold that wouldn't go away sort of thing. Um, I finally tested two years ago and I tested positive. The HIV virus is transmitted through blood and other body fluids such as cum and vaginal juices. Not using a latex, sharing or using dirty needles puts you more at risk of catching the HIV virus and passing it on to others. Many people believe that since they are not gay, they do not shoot drugs, and they are not sleeping around, that they should not protect themselves. Many people used to believe that Earth was flat too. These days, we now know that regardless of sexual orientation, whether you're gay, straight, or bi, you're sleeping with every person your partner has ever slept with. And it makes more sense to be prepared and protected. I think more blacks should be using condoms. Fucking is the number one way of, is one of the number one ways of contracting the AIDS virus. Um, fucking without a condom and sharing needles. If, so if you're doing either of those, then um, 
then you're, you're very much at risk. There is this weird game a lot of us play about me, think about sex, prepare for sex, never. It's just spontaneous, you know. It just happens sometimes, really. As if taking a shower or making yourself look your best isn't preparing. It doesn't mean you're going out looking for action. It's just you feel ready for whatever could happen. There is no harm in being prepared. Still, it always seems as if it's different for women. Okay, you can say, well, honey, you can either put it on or we don't get it on. <laughs> And stuff, right? But like, it makes it like it makes sense and stuff. Like, it's like if if you don't have it, we ain't gonna do it. And stuff like that. You know what I mean? You gotta drop it. Like, put it straight up. Cause if you don't, then he's gonna think you're beating around the bush. And I don't beat around the bush when I say something. I mean it. And I don't want no disease. I know the AIDS is affecting the black community disproportionately. And I know a lot of brothers and sisters are dying because of uh, lack of knowledge, because they think it's outside our community and it really affects us. You know, I know that a lot of brothers and sisters in, in Africa are dying of AIDS and everything. So we, you know, we gotta take our responsibility to learn about AIDS for our community because it's our brothers and sisters who are actually dying out there. You know, you know, take a really political stance on this. We gotta put more pressure on the government to put more research, to put more money into research for AIDS because it's our people who are being affected ultimately disproportionately than the, um, you know, than the others. You know, and uh, unfortunately, I don't know as much as I would like to know about AIDS. You know, because the school system hasn't taught me as much as I'd like to know. So we gotta really push it to be in the curriculum because it affects us every day. You know, it's always affecting us just out there. You know. It seems it's taken a long time to get some sort of understanding how to protect yourself. It affects me because the government's not doing anything constructive to help those people out there. And it affects me because I love people. Some guys come across like if you're thinking ahead, you're some kind of slut. It's supposed to be some kind of totally unplanned romantic moment. You think he's not planning for it? Face it. There's nothing romantic about getting pregnant when you don't want to, or about getting any one of the little bugs that are floating around these days, including AIDS. What can be kind of romantic and really hot is helping your lover get dressed for the occasion. Lay a layer of latex on someone you care about and do it with the kind of attention you give a kiss. in California, they feel that a lot of women might forget to slip condoms into their purse, but they never forget to adorn themselves with makeup or earrings, so they put the condoms in the earrings. I really don't know, because like in school, right, they don't really talk too much about AIDS and stuff like that, as much as they should, so we understand what, what we're dealing with. So I wouldn't know really too much. I don't hear too much about AIDS person on a personal level. It's not really we talk about safe sex, it's just that it just happens that way. We just know about it, have knowledge from what's going on in the world right now. To my partner, I would say uh, I use a condom because um, I'd want to protect myself and that person also. So we want me to sit here and lie and say, well, yeah, do you have um, protection? Well, I'm going to use a condom. Do you have a diaphragm? Or, you know, all that. That's bullshit. Like, I'm not going to say that. I'm just going to say, well, you know, let's get busy. No rubber, no lover. <laughs> <laughs> it's the same, you know? Where is your condom? You haven't got one? 
too bad. All right. <laughs> Later. Next time. <laughs> but nowadays, females bring their own yeah. and stuff. And we, we bring, we I carry, carry my ourselves. <laughs> you see, the whole thing is that I practice safe sex, safe sex at all times. Like I could show you right now, I have about two condoms in my pocket. <laughs> it goes like that. So with me, it's always there. I don't, I don't need to like ask anybody about safe sex. But if I was to be telling somebody, I'd just show them the whole routine, like not only AIDS but any other disease like syphilis, gonorrhea. It ain't nothing, you know, easy to cure. People are not practicing safe sex. I mean, the only thing that they consider safe sex is they see a girl that looks good enough, and they say to themselves, "Well, she looks too good to have syphilis, AIDS, gonorrhea. You know, she looks too good, so you just assume she doesn't have it. And unless she's like a street hoe that you just picked up, and then you'll say, well, you know, how much am I gonna pay you? And I'm gonna wear my car." And you know, you don't really go through that because you don't come up to those situations. If you see a girl, she looks good, and you want some, you go and get some. That's just, just how that's how people are. So it doesn't make sense I sit here and sit there and give you a whole big spiel about what I would say when I wouldn't say that. Like, I mean, you know, I'm being honest. I really see this as an opportunity. We are people can really challenge and confront a lot of attitudes, a lot of sexist attitudes and really question, I think, in particular, the dynamics of power that exists between men and women, especially. Especially when it comes to an issue of the responsibility for uh, a man to use a condom. First of all, it's sort of a subject that's really difficult to talk to somebody with. I think even if you are close with them, it's sort of like a, a forbidden zone. You just sort of, you don't get into it. You sort of avoid it. I think it would be easier for me to talk to my best friend, my girlfriend, rather than talk to the man that I'm sleeping with at that time. So, did you enjoy yourself tonight? Yeah, I had a really good time. That club was really happening, lots of action. Don't get any ideas by me loosening my tie. I don't mean anything by it. I know we're just here for drinks. I'm just trying to get comfortable. Mm. I see you picked one up. Oh, yeah, I just actually picked it up today. I didn't have a chance to read it or look at it yet. Well, it's got a great article in here about the do's and don'ts of having safer sex. Let's see. There's fucking without a condom. That's a don't. That's pretty explicit language. No licking or sucking your vagina during your period because you could be at risk if you have open cuts in your mouth. Some people use latex for oral sex all the time just to be safer. Are you into toys? Well, if you're into sex toys, don't share them without washing or covering them with a the latex. No rimming without stretching latex between your tongue and their bum. You can use a dental dam or a condom cut in half. Women are more concerned about safe sex than men, so the sisters take care of business. Why is that people think that women are more concerned about safer sex than men? I think even before AIDS that we were concerned about pregnancy and a lot of women are concerned about exposure to disease. So without condoms, we seem to have a lot more at stake. Well, you know I like you and I really care about you. Mm-hmm. I'm serious, I'd like to get closer to you. You mean you'd like to sleep with me? Well, that too, but I mean it's not all about sex. I really do care about you and want to get to know you. Well, if we did sleep together. Make love. Get it on. Do the wild thing. More better? More better that makes it more better? Seriously. As they say in those commercials, you're sleeping with everyone who I've ever slept with. I would have found those people had, a, had AIDS. Then you'd be able to catch AIDS right now. Well, standard, you said, do you look, believe in love at first sight? Yes. Do you believe in love at tenth sight? Because I'd like to be around long enough. I have that many times with you. So, do you believe in safe sex? And do you take it from there? Who are the girls you've been with? You know, how long have you been with them, sort of thing, because if you find out basically how long they've been with a person, you're going to find out, you know, usually they'll come out if they get AIDS. You know, people will talk. If I slept with you, I'd be sleeping with you and everyone that you've ever been with. Well, the same with me. That's why the latex. So a discussion about your previous sex life really isn't safe for sex. I mean, what would be the point of me asking you who you've been with, whether they were men or women? You know what I'm into, but you're right, that's not the point. I've been honest with you, and you've been honest with me, and that's really necessary. But that's no substitute for protection. I'm glad we're talking about safer sex before anything happens. That's important to me. That's important to us.
Talking about using a latex before you have sex isn't easy. Even when it's with someone you care a lot about. Women are sometimes especially afraid to talk because we think it's going to cause a big scene or that we may lose our lovers because we insist on protecting ourselves. There are many excuses that we use. The excuse of, we've been dating almost six months, or my lover would never give me a disease or do anything to hurt me. Now, more than ever, it's time to start talking about safer sex before we get involved in sexual relationships. The HIV virus can stay in someone's body for years without them knowing or showing any signs. It's never too late to begin having safer sex, even if you've been with your partner for a long time. Women, and especially young women, are very much at risk of catching the HIV virus from the people they sleep with or from using shared needles. The fact is that between 60 and 75% of women living in Toronto who have tested HIV positive got it from a man they were sleeping with. Most of them, as far as they knew, were in committed relationships. Many of them were or are married, and some only discovered that they had the virus when their baby was born with it. Because of the racism within the society, when it comes to people being pro given priorities to like receive education and information about AIDS, that people are at the bottom of the list. And it's the same with Native people. And it's the same with Hispanics, because for some reason their life is not seen as as valuable. I mean, us like black people, um, us thinking of the heterosexual community, us um, in Canada, us in small t small cities, us anybody but who it was affecting. <laughs> um, so long as it. So long as it's somebody else's disease, it's some, so long as somebody else has it, it's somebody else's issue. Um, what we've got to recognize is that uh, it does affect us. If you're concerned about the HIV virus, there are community health centers in most downtown areas that will do a test without using your name. AIDS information phone lines exist across Canada, and condoms are sold just about anywhere. Free condoms and dental dams can be found at many drop-ins and AIDS information centers, such as the Black Coalition for AIDS Prevention, commonly referred to as Black Cap, located in Toronto. Because sharing needles also puts you at risk of catching the HIV virus, check around for places that will exchange new needles for your used ones. Or provide bleach kits to rinse and clean your needles and works. Get the facts from a reliable source. Double check if you like. Whatever you do, whoever you do it with, do it safely. <laughs>